well for the relatives, for friends and those who are close to that person. The body means a lot. Though, at least in their experience, that person is not there anymore, does not inhabit that body still, because this is how they had known them, just the form. And they also know, if you hold him for a little while, he will rot. In spite of that, there is attachment, there is emotion. So this is a sensitive matter, different people have come to different things. Well, and it's also a religious matter because some people believe you have to bury them, but you need to understand wherever burials happened in places where... I'm talking about ancient times. In ancient times, if you observe which are the regions where there is burial, which are the regions where there is cremation, you will see wherever there were deserts, wherever there were extremely cold places, wherever there was no trees and firewood, there the tradition became of burial. Wherever there were forests, wherever there was wood to burn, there they took to cremation. Well, in some societies, we took to a certain mode because of a certain awareness of what happens post declaration of death. I'm particular about this. I'm not saying post-death, post-declaration of death. Somebody has been declared dead by whatever kind of doctors or wise people who were around, they observed certain parameters, no breath, no temperature, certain things are gone, vital signs are gone, so they declared that person dead. But the nature of how... how invested we are in this body, that this life energy, this karmic substance has kind of enmeshed itself into every cell in this body. So it doesn't just go poop like that, it will take its time. Because certain types of prana don't leave, so it is living in stages. Because it's living in stages, there will be certain disturbance to that life. And also the people who are dear to that person, because they will experience a certain level of turmoil which is beyond their emotional disturbance that's happened because of a loss of a dear one. Not just that, a certain kind of turmoil begins to happen because that life is going through that, Due to genetic relationship, there will be a certain level of turmoil. Because life is exiting, when it exits to a certain point, that person will get declared dead medically because everything is over, it cannot be revived, it's reached that point. But still life is exiting. If you allow it to exit for a long period of time, there's an unnecessary disturbance. So, normally in this country, in this culture, we fixed one and a half hours as a time to cremate, within which you must cremate. If people are below eighty-four years of age and they have died, it is best to cremate. If they are over eighty-four years of age, generally the... most of the time, I would say ninety-five percent of the time or even more, the the life energies have already become feeble. When it exits, nothing much is left or almost nothing is left. So, over eighty-five or eighty-four years of age, sometimes they buried them because it didn't matter. But if they are below that, especially if they are much younger, suppose they died due to an accident or a disease or an injury or something, then always cremation is the way. Cremation is a good thing to do because it is... it settles for that person and for the emotional lot who are around. Because just the idea, somebody is very dear to you, you put him in a box and put him under this garden, you know, in this garden, 
beneath the surface. You can't leave this place and go because you know your loved one is still there. It's very difficult to do that. It's all right, people put mud on it and went away, you put some flowers, but your struggles will not close. The struggles are not purely psychological. There is a physiological struggle also because of a certain genetic relationship which is beyond what you think and feel. So cremation settles those things. So general prescription would be, unless they're over eighty-four years of age, it's best to cremate. The virus-related deaths, if it's a virus-related death, it is best to cremate. This has always been the practice across the world, whenever there are contagions, whether it's plague or this virus or that virus, everybody understood in their wisdom the best thing is to cremate. But now situations have become vitiated, my religion versus your religion business, for the dead there is no religion, at least that much you must understand. The dead person is not making any choices, it is for the living you're making these choices in many ways. And if they have died of a, a, a contagious disease, it is definitely best to cremate, there is simply no question about it. But I know this is a... they're making it religiously, politically a sensitive issue because they want to make an issue out of everything. This is not to go against anybody's wishes or sensitivities, but this is the safest thing to do at times like this. A certain amount of education should happen in the society that when there is a contagion, you keep your sensibilities, your traditions aside and simply do what is needed. Right now, our work is important, I want to go out, so many people want to go out. We keep it aside and stay here because it's not safe for us. Above all, it's not safe for everybody else, that's very important. If it was not just safe for me, I can go and do it, it's my choice. But when what I do is not safe for anybody else, when what I do is not safe for the society, for the nation and for the world, then I have no business to do it, I have no right to do it, it doesn't matter what I think or what I feel about it. It's not just about cremation, about everything that we do, this is a fact. This is a basic human sensitivity that all of us should have. No matter what we believe, what we adhere to, how important we think what we believe is, when it comes to causing damage to other lives, we have no business, it doesn't matter what kind of sensitivities we have about it. So if you must bury, at least plant a tree on it, because you can go and enjoy the tree and say, this is my grandfather's tree, it'll be wonderful. We can make use of it, the tree will absorb the person as quickly as possible. But as I said, for that life it is best cremation, unless they're over, they're over eighty-four years of age or if they've completed those one thousand and twelve moons are over. At a time like this, when people are dying in thousands every day just because of one cause, natural deaths are anyway happening, nobody is reporting them anymore. But just the virus deaths are happening and there is a fear that it could multiply into millions. We don't know whether we will be able to contain it or not. Nobody is sure about it. Everybody is talking many things, but nobody is sure. This is not to spread fear, panic, but if we do not look at a situation square the way it is, we won't be able to handle it either. Very important.